I know how this is gonna work out because I haven't tried. I might have homework to do today, but here we are watching episode who knows of Great Fish Bagel. Okay, it's real time finding out if I have homework to do tonight, and it's 9.44. Okay, it did it last week. Okay, so I had this bright idea to do my skin here while doing, where's my phone? I'm doing a point, oh there it is. Um, doing like some recommended videos. Um, like recommended uh, videos. Well I guess, well recommended TV and movies, but I don't think there's any movies on this list that, today. Um, but there might be next time I do my skincare or whatever. But I also have a new thing that I'm adding to my skincare, um, which is called Melt by Cotton. It's another recommendation by, what's his name? I think it's Justin and his, I follow him on two different accounts, but I think it's My Skin is Glass is the first one I watch, listen, listen to. Um, this is the account. So my skin is glass, I'll put that like right here. Um, my skin is glass, and then you have another account that I follow, it's called SPF Slut. And I think that one's just a little bit more relaxed, but my skin is glass has like, like more regimented, more, I think like, friendly to the public, because he's a little rough. I, I don't mind any of his humor, but I think people do, so. But I really like his recommendations. And he does like a blend of Asian and Western skincare, which I really like, because that's kind of what I've always, what I've always, but what I've really been interested in since I've been into skincare. But I'm gonna wash my hands to get started. But pull your sleeve up and this could be like a, like a, a scarf of some sort. But I'm gonna start with this because this is, I probably have to take this off. I haven't actually used it yet. But I thought that was gonna be harder, so I made it a scrunchy face. But the first show I'm gonna talk about it's called Summertime and it's on Netflix. I don't know how to use this. Probably one or two. Um, all I have on is skin, not skincare. I have skincare and um, I have sunscreen on. That's all I have on today. Um, but the show Summertime is a Netflix show and it's actually set in Italy. It's set in like a small beach town. Um, what else did I say about him? Um, I don't know. I think it's like a show about people who are like quite different and like relationships between people who are really different because you know they say opposites attract but like I think there's also like a set of problems that come along when people are very very different but I really like this show because it's like you know it's a show about relationships relationship between you know 
people who are dating that kind of relationships, a mother and a daughter, sisters, a mother and um, a father, um, husband and wife, or partners, and just like friendships, like different like man, male and female friend friendships. I, don't know, I really like the show. I watched the first season when it first came out, like right after. I watched the first season and it's, um, there's like a ramp up to the second season. Like I feel like, yeah, the first season had like, you know, showed some skin, but the second season, you know, all of a sudden you see like a butt or a boob. So if you do watch it, be aware of that. Let's see. Oh, and I also just really like that the show kind of showed um, a different point of view of Italy than I was expecting. Um, I don't know, when you think Italy, you think the kind of person and the way that people look and a certain background, and I think the show kind of gives you an opportunity to see people in a different light and see different people in your life. <laughs> the spotlight. <laughs> oh gosh, that jokes. Mm. But yeah, really enjoyed that show. There's the mom of like the main character of the show who's named Summer, who's, you know, the show's called Summertime. So, you know, the show's, oh. So it's a little bit, making my eyes do that weird thing when you get oil in them, get a little foggy. But other than that, there's no burning, it's just fogginess in my eyes. It's so hot. I don't feel like super sleepy or anything, but I do see that the water is like, you know, doing that thing that does like oil and water really mix for you all. But the mom who stars on the show, her name is, I think it's Tony or Thony. You know, TH is really messing me up when there are different languages that I don't know if they do the same thing as in English. But, oh, this is um, La Roche Posay. It's a skin, skin wash, skin wash. It's a medicated gel cleanser. It's supposed to be for like oil and, you know, breakouts. And I'm having just a few of those, so this is what I've been using lately. Um, but the mom, her name is Tony, and she has a song, um, if my phone will work, and it's called The Living I Am, and it's probably one of the most beautiful songs, and it's in English, even though she's Italian woman, the song's in English. It's a very beautiful song, and I recommend if anyone wants to go listen to it, I'll play it a little bit right here. Like the song that is right now, my brain can't think of it. Oh, the, put the Spotify link below. Next show I was talking about. I was just watching it today. It was called The Great Verse Breakoff. I'm sure you've never heard of it. Um, but if you, you don't realize that there's a theme, these are all going to be foreign television shows. That's kind of what I've been interested in lately or just like, you know, the last 15 years of my life. <laughs> but um, my favorite person to ever be on the show, his name's Raul. And you know, I don't think I've ever enjoyed or been more stressed out in a season one watching that man freak out every time and his stuff end up being fantastic every time. <laughs> but love him. This season is, I think it's like series 12 or something. She was filming forever because Mary Berry's not even on it. It's Peru. Everyone, I'm away, I'm away. I'm terrible person. But, but, but it's been a little bit fun. I know it's fun because I'm terrible person. But I love to love. You know, because it's actually quite frustrating when we're too many people under these time limits, making these crazy, I don't know, I don't wanna say, I don't even know, like we're making these crazy like baked goods and you know, it takes your frustrations away and it makes you frustrated for them, which is, you know, quite nice to not be worried about whatever um, you might be worried about in your actual life. So love that show. That's a little bit more of a lighthearted one. Recommend to literally everyone and their grandma that I'm talking about. I actually think I like mentioned it on my, I like filmed a little clip on my phone when I found out the second series of The L Word Generation Q has come out and I didn't know about it. Again, in essence. But um, I just found out the second season came out like, and it just ended, it ended like a month ago. I don't know why this does this. I don't know if I don't get the soap off maybe or what. It starts to like lathering, so. Oh my gosh, I didn't do, I usually do this, but I'm not gonna take this off because money. <laughs> but I usually do this below this, but you know, it might be nice to take a break from exfoliating your skin. So. I found out the second series of um, Gen Albert Generation Q, which <laughs> I don't know if my parents are watching, but I grew up 
probably like in middle school, high school, watching The L Word. Um, it had already been out for a while by the time I got to it, but I was definitely too young for that show. But I really liked it. I don't know, I feel like being exposed to like different communities of people just like expands your, you know, your breadth of what you're able to enjoy in the sense of um, different communities. Yeah, people allow you to know, to see the world and its beauty and you don't want to get super existential, but you know, watching just like one community of people like, you know, white, cis, straight people, you know, it's a great world because now it's right, it's now the world of diversity, of race, ethnicity, sexual party. But L L Word, Generation Q, has quite a bit of the original cast in it. Um, when I say original cast, I specifically mean Shane McCutcheon, who is my favorite character from the original cast. And then there is Finley, who is my favorite from this, like, continuation of the show. Uh, that was, I was, these are as a clear serum drops or whatever, um, from the same brand as the exfoliate, exfoliant that I didn't use, Deep and Gorgeous. A lot of these are recommendations from that guy, Justin, um, from My Skin is Glass. Some of them were just things I saw on the internet that I thought were interesting, so I tried them. Um, including this um, Bras Per Se, I think it's like Hyaluronic Acid um, Serum. I don't know, I use it under my eyes and like around my mouth and like my forehead and my chin, where I think I'm the driest or like I have lines as a 24 year old. But as I was saying, I really like the show. I don't know what the second series is gonna be like. The first series ended in a way that I was a little mad about. Um, but you know, gotta watch to um, really be able to give an opinion on it because I haven't seen any of the second um, season. I keep saying series because I've been watching too much British show shows, but the second season I haven't seen, but the first season I do recommend. I don't think you'll, there's things that you'll like, you know, I think you can watch it without watching the original L word. Um, but there's like, you know, a lot of stuff that happened and stuff and people that you mentioned that you won't get unless you've seen the original show. But I recommend, there's a lot of like things in the original show that are like problematic and how they talk about you know, people within the LGBTQ community, I think there was a lot of, um, still is a lot of, like, hate in that, inside the community, um, between, you know, like, gay people and lesbian people or cis and bi people, you know, there's... Don't want to go into that, but there's a lot of, like, problematic things and things that people say that I, I watched even five or so years after the show was finished, and I was like, ooh, that is not, that doesn't sound right. But I think they have, you know, come with a certain amount of political correctness that I think that is necessary um, in this new series. Um, so I recommend, if it's only just for Finley, but Jacqueline Tavani, she is a beautiful soul. So um, recommend. And the last two that I wanna mention are what you would call BL, which are boy love. Um, which I don't even necessarily like love because I think they're just like beautiful shows. The show specific, specific BLs do have like a formatting, so I think that's specifically why um, they're like distinguished from just like regular dramas because you watch them, and I think a lot of them are changing now, um, and they're you know the storylines don't follow the same like they're in school or you know they don't follow the same tropes, but. Um, this was, this is actually a retinol. I just started using it. Um, it's by that same brand, Eakin Gorgeous. It's called A Game. It's 0.1. I don't really know anything about that. Kind of just went with the internet set was right for my skin. Um, but two shows that I want to talk about. The My Sweet Deer is actually a Korean show. Um, I have, I recognize a few of the actors. Um, this is... What I use is my face and my eye cream, and it's also by Jin Jung Sung, and this is the Sincerity Face and Eye Cream. Um, I recognize the guy with longer hair. Um, I can't tell you, I watched this show really fast and in the middle of watching a bunch of other shows, but he was in another show where he played like his best friend's bodyguard, and that show is really sh short, but this one, he plays, there's like two, two chefs and they're like competing for like the head chef position at this, um, I think it's a Western food restaurant in Korea. Um, but, and then Bite Me is a Thai television show. 
um, which is also about chefs. <laughs> Didn't even really make that connection until right now. Um, um, it's a Thai show about chefs and it's about this guy who's in college who like works for like a food delivery service. Like in America, would it be like DoorDash or Postmates or something like that? Um, and he works for, and then he meets, um, he goes to this restaurant and he's able to like distinguish uh, ingredient and something and the guy's like fast, the, the, like the head chef's fascinated about that and wants to meet him and that's like the beginning of that show. Um, and the reason I wanted to compare is I didn't even realize like there's like a huge compare that the show both came at the same time and they're both about chefs. <laughs> But I did want to, is because Korean shows are traditionally more reserved um, when it comes to showing BL um, on their television shows versus Thai shows, which are just a little bit more open. Um, like, but both of these were more um, on the reserved end if you really compare them to shows like Torn Type or um, which is another Thai show or even History um, or His Story. Um, which is actually, I believe, a Taiwanese series. There's like four or five of them. Um, but I just, I did feel like there was like a, like a level of authenticity to both of them. I really loved how like they didn't really feel like forced. Um, sometimes BLs feel a little forced. Um, literally, like tar type tea, don't come for me. Um, but I really enjoyed both of these shows and I think when you compare them to other Korean dramas, there is a little bit more skinship than you might see. And Bite Me, which is the Thai show, might be more what you might see in Korean shows where like the kiss is like, you'll see it in the rearview mirror, like, or like you'll see it, like the doors will close and like it's implies, implied that they kiss. So I think like the rules were a little swapped, but I did like them both. I hope you like this. Um, if you want more recommendations, come back to my channel. Um, I think this was a little bit all over the place, but that's kind of how I wanted it. Oh, I finished my skincare today. Is there anything else that I need to do? I feel like I might, I missed a step because I was talking, but um, 